Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just made a video about using a polygon to make some random shapes. And I started thinking about, I have Monster Macro Z cuts, and I've seen this before and I've played with it, but I've never used it for a practical purpose. So just select your shape, whatever shape you want, and go right here to Effects, Fill with Circles, a lot of parameters. Let's make the biggest one two inches, the smallest one a tenth of an inch, and let's have five different sizes, I guess, of steps. The minimum distance of, uh, from each other is 0.1. Uh, you could have ignore edges, but we're gonna leave that on inch and just say, okay. In that short of time, it did that. And let's even back up Let's go here and let's change it to, you gotta select the shape. So they'll, so Monster Macro will know what to do. Fill with circle. This time we're gonna go 0 0.01. Now let's go 0 0.05. And look at that. Really random. And you could have, let's back up here and do it one more time. Let's, uh, let me go ahead and zoom in. You need to select your shape, select effect. I mean, E-Cuts has all these effects, create a puzzle, shadow wall, fill with circles. This time we're gonna go seven steps. So you've got some really little ones, some really big ones, and it's all red, random. And it's off the edges. Now they're really close to the edge, so what you would really want to do in this scenario, let's see if the shape is still a shape. It's still a rectangle. Hold down the shift key and just grow it out a little bit. We'll really hold down the shift and the, might even be better to contour. Hold down the shift key, because it's only gonna, and then that looks pretty random. And then if we fill that in with black, like we did the other one, or so you could really see it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.